The backrooms have limitless possibilities, with some levels being really normal, while others are too strange to even visualize. That's why we're back at it again, at building some more backrooms levels. I'm gonna take on the challenge of building some of the backrooms weirdest levels, even if it takes me weeks. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's get right into this. For a third time, we are back into recreating some more Backrooms levels. To start this new episode, let's begin with a personal favorite of mine, also known as Level 94. This level has a large town, a floating castle, and tall grassy hills, with a slight grainy effect to it. The houses in this level are like the ones you draw in kindergarten, making this level look like you landed in Peppa Pig. Moreover, this level has strangely parked cars in the most random places, along with a water tower in the center of the level, which contains almond water. Overall, this sounds like a pretty safe level, right? Well, when it becomes night, everything turns to hell. You've got skin stealers, deaf moths, smilers, animation entities, basically things that try to kill you. And that's not all. On a transparent hill located deep within this level, lays a humongous castle, home to one of the most dangerous entities alive, also known as the Animated King. But I mean, let's ignore him for now. Now, to start this level, we need to figure out how on earth we are going to create all of this. And luckily, I have the help of my best friend once more, World Edit. So just like that, after a bit of painting, and a bit of carving. We have a sort of hilly map that we can work with for now. Next, let's make a base for our Peppa Pig house, which we can start off with some sandstone for the walls, quartz for the general framing and the windows, along with some spruce wood for the roof. Finishing off our house, which we can control C, control V into many other houses. This brings us to the almond water tower in the center of the map, made of typical blocks like stone bricks and iron, and the randomly scattered cars which took a while actually due to my excellent engineering skills. Finally, this brings us towards our biggest challenge, the gargantuan castle, a type of build which I've never actually done before. We start with some pillars, and do some interesting shapes like this overhang right here. Then we can start adding some mystical roofs, using some cyan blocks, and some spruce. Then we add some windows with a couple details, and boom, we have a decent castle. I was really proud of my build, so I posted my progress online to show my almost finished product. Until one of you guys pointed out that I should put the castle on a translucent hill to apparently make it more accurate. Now, am I really gonna spend hours of my life replacing and modifying the castle because of a silly YouTube comment? Yes! And there we have it, the finished product of level 94. This took surprisingly long to make but was definitely worth it in the end as this is actually one of my favorite recreations. Let's move on to a way easier level. For our next level, we have one of the most hardest one of the most challenging levels to build, also known as Level 11. This level is a sprawling, desolate cityscape of ma- mana- ma- monolithic buildings and winding asphalt roads. This level has been deemed impractical to properly map or navigate due to its inconsistent layout and geometry, with some buildings being inaccessible, empty or defying the laws of physics. Moreover, this level sometimes can also have exact replicas of real-life buildings, usually from cities like New York or Los Angeles. Luckily, this level has effectively no entities that would try to harm you, with some reports even saying it's devoid of life. This level is also absolutely massive, and if I were to do this alone, it would take me months. So luckily, I have the help of two of my friends to help me speed up the progress. So first to start this level, let's do the roads. Now I have no knowledge on how to create roads, but we can first start by 
creating a specific center point. We're launching into four separate roads. Hey, excuse me, can you just shut the frick up? So, I don't actually know how to make roads, but I mean, we have roads now, so I mean, that's good. And bang, three hours gone, and we only have a road. Now, if we were to make this work, how on earth would we create a whole building? Well, luckily, after a very insightful green tutorial, all you have to do is build the first floor of a building, with some pillars, some windows, and some abstract shapes. And that's all you need. Then you just stack the same floor on top of each other, and there you go, a building. After placing many street lamps, we can get started with our first of 11 buildings. I first wanted to try different color schemes, and kind of test how I could build later buildings. I tried a color scheme of cyan, yellow, and grey concrete, with patterns like these, which I'll skim over. This leads us to the second and largest building, with an interesting pink color scheme, while the others were building the third skyscraper, with some similar choices of color to the first one. We kept trying new designs and color palettes with some cyan terracotta used in this generally long building, with many other buildings clocking up more and more of my time, which whew, really made me doubt whether all of this was possible or not. At some point, I even considered throwing in the towel because this project was taking too long. But we were nearing the end. Building 8, building 9, building 10. We were finally at our last building, which is really an eye-opening experience to see this massive level being created, which looks exactly how I envisioned it. To end this off, I made a couple adjustments here and there, and boom, we are finished with this exhausting level. To be honest, I'm super proud of how this level turned out. Of course, I could have made some buildings float, and maybe have made it a bit more accurate, but maybe next time. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, and I'm going to bed.